all about his interest in film. So, how are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm okay. Um, so, my first question for you is, what is it that attracts you to filmmaking? What attracts me to filmmaking is basically the diverse number of directors, basically, is and how they were able to achieve their vision of the film. For example, James Cameron basically was fascinated with the Titanic, so that's what inspired him to make the Titanic film in general. And basically then there's um, actors like Ryan Coogler, who are newcomers to the film industry, and they're suddenly making films for Marvel, like Black Panther. And then there's George Lucas, who got turned down numerous times to make Star Wars um, from different production companies until he fin they finally settled with 20th Century Fox, and basically the rest is history for him. And yeah, so basically I just like how they were able to achieve their vision, basically. Um, what um, do you think is the best scene in Titanic, as you mentioned it? Well, the best scene is basically, as you know, the, the climatic sinking scene. Basically, he, unlike other Titanic films which were portrayed, he basically made it, m it more realistic and what, what could have happened at that moment. Like the, the Titanic lifting up, splitting in half, that wasn't depicted in okay. previous Titanic films. He was the first to do that. Okay. And he um, did, yeah, and did that. What do you think of the scene where they're in the, um, I think it's in a, it's sort of in a, um, sort of a, I'm sort of, I forgot what it's called now, but she leaves the handprint on the window. Yeah, what do you think of that? Because I, I like that, that just that one little shot there. Well, well, that's, well, basically, that adds to the romantic scene between them. Basically, that, yeah, so that, that's a really good use of cinematography and how he was able to achieve that. And basically, the camera work is amazing, basically. So, is that your favourite um, James Cameron film? Um, that's my favourite James Cameron film to watch, but basically, you know, you, I, I can only watch it, like, if I haven't watched it in a while, I'll watch it again. Okay. Yeah, because it's like a three hour film, basically. So, from that, um, so, is he your favourite filmmaker? Um, n not really, no. I, I do take, I pay attention to his works, but I have noticed in, a, in a, yeah, many, many interviews in that he is a very difficult director to work with. Basically, he's a perfectionist. He basically does things how he wants it to happen. He doesn't like anyone like goofing up on the job. He doesn't like anyone yeah. slacking on the job. He basically wants to get his filmmaking done. And he wants to be. He wants it to be perfect, basically. But I, uh, he's not my favorite um, filmmaker per se because uh, there's, uh, there's there's so many directors that I um, uh, focus on that I like. Uh, I like to study about and and how they achieve it. My favorite filmmaker, I would say, is Tim Burton. Basically, he uh, makes films from an Asperger production because he's got Aspergers. So, he, or he, it's rumored that he has, because he makes he basically make productions based on what he has obsessions with and what he likes. He's, he's mostly interested in, he was, so for example, he, as a child he was interested in Roald Dahl. So basically that inspired him to make Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, the film in 2005. That's one of my favorite films of his. And then there's Edward Scissorhands, which basically focuses him on with, with social anxiety, basically on how he basically made Johnny Depp's character um, um, basically, social anxiety, anxious with social anxiety, and how he, he was basically shy on screen. And also, there was a scene where, um, basically, he um, how he struggled to perform friendships, nice. things like that. So yeah, that my that's my favorite film dire uh, film director, basically a filmmaker. Um, so, do you like the original Charlie Chocolate Factory? Or? Well, I re I like both. I don't really. I like uh, I like um, the the original, as in the fact that. Um, he basically he um, uh, Gene Wilder was in the film, so basically his film is performance as that character is considered iconic. Whereas Johnny Depp's portrayal is considered polarizing because he's known for his roles in Captain Jack Sparrow and things like that. So they don't really see him as the person to play Willy Wonka, basically. But I, I basically I like um, the 1970s film because it's basically it was um, the, the ideas made at the time was good because they filmed it in Germany. Yeah. Basically, the film in uh, basically Germany wasn't that well most well visited place back in the 70s basically whereas today it is Rise of the Berlin Wall. So, so basically they filmed it in Germany in Germany basically because it was anonymous to most people at the time and that's how it was and that's and yeah. he also like how anonymous it looked because in the setting where um, Charlie lived basically yeah. was was unknown to most people so oh, that's why post war Germany yes yeah, so basically he made he filmed it he filmed it in Munich I think it was and basically he filmed, like, it went to locations like the Munich Gasworks. Actually, most of that, um, 
and building the buildings in the, the original factory is, is, is torn down basically because they were demolishing it before they were allowed to use it basically so that's the reason why they were allowed to use because they were going to be demolishing it and renovating it basically okay yeah so so my uh, so I don't really pick which one I just like both of them basically that's good um, is that your favourite Dream World of perform- Dream World of performance or um, yeah that's yeah. my favourite Dream World of performance that's the person I, that's the performance I clearly associate with like it Basically, it's been his performance has been referenced in in the Mar- in the Marvel film Cap- for Ragnarok. Basically, if you know okay. in the scene where it plays that uh, Willy Wonka theme, or yeah. that yeah, or um, basically that was basically and that was filmed in 2016, and that was the death of Gene Wilder in 2016. Basically, they added I think they added that was to basically tribute him. Basically, because the film director for Ragnarok was a comedian as well. Okay. And oh, yeah, Gene Wilder. Uh, yeah, 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 Gene Wilder is also a comedian, so basically, he wanted to add that music se- or sequence, add, pay tribute to him, basically. That's nice. Yeah. So, do you. I'm trying. Is there a partic- not a particular subject of filmmaking or, or type, but it, is there something you like about filmmaking and how it can convey? emotions and things like that different to any other art form because sort of painting is very different to film because film c- moves and um, can be of a certain time but painting still so I was wondering is, is there anything about film as an art form that's you, that attracts you that's different to others it might be a difficult question so is that like the sort of cinematography and all yeah. that stuff well there's um, well uh, if you of cinematography there's actually one scene I like it's basically um, is how they um, it's basically it's Cinematography has been going on for years, but it's, it's but the cinematography has become much safer now, and the stunt work has become much safer. And basically, so the Titanic scene where the, basically lots of crew members got injured as the thing was lit, or the, it was like a rig that lifted up, that they still got injured on on the set. And then there was um, basically in one film, it which was called. Um, the Twilight Zone, the movie, basically, one actor was decapitated, and they and basically, yeah. and two child stars were crushed by a helicopter. That was like another cinematography scene that went wrong, basically. Um, but my favourite cinematography scene has to be um, the scene where um, they filmed um, Tom Cruise on the Burj Khalifa when he's climbing the Burj. That, that was my fa- that's one of my favourite scenes to look at. One of my favourite scenes is of all time is basically the Dark Knight, basically when um, they're doing the, the the truck chase sequence and how they lifted the truck, basically on 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 its on its back, and I like how they were able to basically feel they had to film that scene in one shot, basically, and the see and then basically Heath Ledger coming out as dressed as Joker and shoot the scene. They had to do it because since it was filmed on a Chicago street, basically yeah. in the middle of the night. And it was, since it was a deserted street, and, they, and that, that made, it, made, made it happen. But I also take note, basically there was a f- uh, f- film, I don't know what the exact bit, the, I know the director is Danny Boyle, and basically uh, he directed... Trainspotting. No, not Trainspotting, he made a film called, uh, I can't remember it. It's a film called Yesterday, which is about the Beatles disappearing. Then he did a film called Shallow Grave, which is the very first one. Um, Sunrise, it's science fiction. Um, Slumdog Millionaire. It's the, it's the one where... Yeah, there's uh, where there's no it, it's the empty London scene. Oh, it's a, oh twenty eight days later. It's a zombie film. Yeah, twenty eight days later. Yeah, basically that's what that's what I that's something I take note of because he was able to um basically get the police to close the roads off yeah. and it, 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 it was filmed early in the morning because you know it was like very early in the morning. Oh, but it, so it, so basically the, and basically he got the police to close all the roads so no one would bother them basically. Yeah. Well, so thank you for um, this discussion. I hope that we dove deep into some, what, who you like, what you like, and what it drives you. Yeah. So thank you. Thanks.